Hey, I'm Sarah Wolf from ReviewsbySarah.com. Today, I'll show you how to make a flower with a fork. To do this, I'm using some Red Heart yarn and a dinner fork. Hold the fork like this. Place the yarn in the front and wrap it once completely around the bottom prong, also known as a tine. Wrap the yarn this way around the last prong. Now weave the yarn in an opposite matter back the other way. It is so important to do this loosely. If you weave it too tight, you won't be able to do the second part. When you get to this last tine, wrap around and begin the next row. Each row will be the opposite of what you did before. Be sure to wrap that last yarn around the tine. You'll want to stop when you have 10 loops on the bottom and 10 loops at the top. Your yarn should end on the opposite end of the fork. Cut the yarn about 18 inches from the fork and then thread a yarn needle. On the side we ended, we're going to need to draw this yarn through all of these loops. Insert the needle under and pull it through. Now insert under a few more loops and pull through. If you can do this in one pass, that's great. But I find it's easier to do just a few at a time. Once you've gone through all these loops, move on to the next tine. Insert your needle underneath the loops on this tine. You can either do them all at once or take a few at a time and pull through. Tie a knot the two ends together. Leave this long tail end and set this petal aside. Make four more petals, just like this, using a new yarn from the yarn skein. Now go back to your first petal and using the long yarn, sew this petal on. After you've finished with all five petals, make a few extra stitches to connect the flower. Then I like to sew or glue on a button to kind of hide the center part. And that's how I make a flower with a fork. 